we got a little bit more to add to that CME that we've already had. What do we have on space weather? Almost the next flare and CME. That would be the 23rd today in the morning at 3.59 UT. Big 1402 erupted producing a long duration M9 class flare. The M9 ranking puts it on the threshold of being an X, the most powerful kind. Okay, so we're cooking with grease now. We're already getting to get most of it yesterday, or not yesterday, but be today, Monday. It's 2 o'clock in the morning, Monday morning now. So the blunt of this prior one was supposed to be coming pretty well today and yesterday. Now, we've already erupted another stronger one to be coming behind that one. And this is what makes it tough when you get layers of them one after the other. Soho and the stereo behind spacecraft have detected a CME rapidly emerging from the blast site. A velocity of 2200 kilometers. Little doubt is heading to the general direction of Earth. Preliminary inspection of the imagery suggesting it will deliver a strong glancing blow on the 24th and 25th, as it sails mostly north of the planet. And this is a little info about what we were just already getting. A little later than it was expected, CME hit the Earth on the 22nd, magnetic field, and it compressed the magnetic field and briefly exposed satellites in orbit to solar wind plasmas. Get some auroras. <clears throat> the impact also disturbed the ionosphere in Atlanta, Georgia. There's a radio engineer monitoring a 4.5 megahertz SCUDAR. Signals that bounced off layers of the ionization. And the moment of impact can be clearly seen, he pointed out. Okay. Then we can go over here. And we're being told solar flare alert. And they are saying it's M8.7 here. Alright. 30% of M, your risk, and a 1% of X, supposedly. We got something coming, though. And I believe, uh, oh yeah, Sechi. It must be affecting their equipment. Because I tried to get on there again, and they were not there. It would not connect today. This would be according to them. What are they saying? Strong solar flare reaching M8.7 was generated for 1402. Okay. It did produce a full halo, CME. Partially earth directed just like the one on the 19th. Most of it appears to be directed north. The speed of the expanding cloud, however, should be more substantial. So, that is leading one to believe that this one here will be more speedy. And we'll see if we can get this to play.
Well, you're getting the general idea that it let out a pretty strong burst. This one here, coming up behind the prior one, is probably something. Yeah, we need to keep an eye on this one because it's bordering on X. But this may present some difficulty at the higher latitudes. We we'll just have to keep a watch on it. And then we have the latest earthquakes in the world. As you can see, we've had a five even on the island of Hawaii. They were getting some lower ones, 2.5, two of them, and a 3.1. Puerto Rico went to 3.3. Indonesia has some action, that's a lower one, 4.3, Kenya, a 5.2, 4.7, Norwegian Sea, Chile has a 5, Philippines, lower magnitude, 4.6, these would be for the 22nd, actually. There's another one, 5.2, South Sandwich Islands region, we already knew about the 6. And then, we've got this set up already over here for magnitude 5, and this would be for the last three days. You can kind of get the general idea. Of the regions of the world, we're feeling a magnitude 5 or greater than the next or within the last three days and there's your there's your 5.0 here with Hawaii I have not uh, I've not seen any things about the volcanoes or any deals out there as far as those going off. And then you're going to be coming up with your Mexican region right down there with your 6.3 then you'll see your following a little line through there and then you got your Chile here and your smaller magnitude <coughs> Puerto Rican And then you got your South Sandwich Island stuff way down here. And then you got your Kenya. Now, if I take this and I drop her down a little bit, you see a little more action going. Those are the fours. That would be our, a three, three level. You can see we're pinging, 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 throbbing, throbbing, throbbing. 
constant we'll have to wait a few days once this next CME comes in to get the full effects of it I think we've done pretty good absorbing this last one here if we just got what we did with two 6.0 earthquakes and that wasn't bad at all and we're going to be borderline in an X so if we got a 6.3 somewhere I'm going to be thinking we're going to see higher than a 6.3 in a couple of spots we hope not but that's usually the way it seems to go So this last M, I didn't think it'd be a power problem, but that we'd see a couple of sixes, and we did. I haven't heard of any major power problems yet. And the next one will be a borderline X. I don't think we'll see worldwide power problems, but <clears throat> I think that when you borderline X or go into X, You'll probably see at, at least one place where something fishy will go on and that, that probably will be a, a little bit of a power loss maybe somewhere on this next one because you can get into all kinds of things with this stuff it could blow in it could cause a nice storm with a bunch of wind or something that cracks off tree limbs and breaks power lines you know it doesn't all have to be fry the grid You could rustle up something else. So I think that's probably what we get. We maybe get some isolated power loss <clears throat> and probably a couple of earthquakes higher than a 6.3. But I hope not. We don't want that. And we'll just have to find out when she gets here. Uh, I got a little. Another little show I'm going to put up from Prophecy in the News here. He's got a guest on there and they're going to be talking about Obama. He has some information I believe and he kind of likens it to the omen, sort of. And that is I believe what the title is, something to do Israel Omen 2 or something like that. But uh, I'll go ahead and stop here and I'll get that one going. And my friend, my heart goes out to you for the loss of your father-in-law. I've prayed a lot for you and your family. I hope God brings some kind of peace to all of you with the knowledge that he's safe now. He's not hurting or anything. He knows you all are hurting now. And so he's going to do what he can to to let you know that your loss is just for a little while it's not forever and y'all will get to see each other again so God bless everyone I'll talk to you soon I don't know why that's flashing I'll have to see what that is